Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about this little attachment for the Dremel and how I'm fitting these. So yeah, in this video, um, I'm gonna be going over something that I, how can I word it? Something I discovered, used, played with a good while ago. I um, actually made a bit of a video about it up here i'll put a card to it um it raised a few comments at the time um the first thing i would say right now is a bit of a disclaimer i choose what pp i wear and don't wear um that's my choice um always follow the manufacturer's guidance instructions etc etc um i'm not held responsible for you getting ill from using one of these or injured so, what am I doing with this? Well, in here, um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this distance, but I'll show you shortly. Um, the attachment on the end here is, I think, called a spiral, no. This attachment is a tile cutter. Um, I'll put the link below. Um, and I bought this kit, and it came with like a, a, a very rough burr, which is designed for cutting ceramic tiles in bathrooms, etc. But it also came with a spiral fluted bit um, which I don't think was meant for tiles but I thought I'd experiment with it on wood and whatnot and then it dawned on me that you could set these up to cut very accurate servo wells so that's what I've been doing with this um, and so I thought I'd show you what I do and how I do it um, in true Blue Peter fashion um, those of you in the UK will get that here's one I prepared earlier um, the well has been marked out where I wanted it and I just basically followed the line and milled out all of the balsa and foam in between so that the servo cover fits neatly in there. Now I must admit this one isn't quite as tight a fit to the servo cover as what I wanted which isn't a problem. When I'm doing the next one I just won't go quite as tight to the line and I can just take it out a little bit further as I need to. Um, so yeah I'll bring you in closer, show you what I'm on about with the tool um, and then I'll show you, hopefully, um, what it's like up close doing its job um, on the other wing, which I've already got marked out. Okay, then, so the tool itself, um, I again, I don't know how well you saw previously, but this is the, the adapter. Um, this is the Dremel that I'm using. It's a few years old now, but I believe this adapter fits on the standard, all the standard Dremels that are available just now. Um, I'll, as I say, I'll put the link below to this kit and as you can see there's a spiral bit in the end um, these bits are this part number 561 now one of the differences again I don't know how well you'll be able to see on camera um, there's two different types there's what I'd call a plunge bit or a through bit the through bit doesn't cut at the end the plunge bit does um, and it's the plunge bits that I want to be using for making these servo wells. So as I said, these are all marked out using the laser cut um, servo hatch as a, a guide. As I said, this is a little bit loose for my liking, but it's not a problem. Um, now it's stuck in there. Yeah, so it's a little bit loose for my liking, but these this will be sorted out with, uh, well, it's gonna be covering to go around here. Um, that gap isn't gonna be a major problem. Um, this whole wing is actually a prototype for something. So it's not, I'm not too fussed about how it's finished um, as long as it flies. But what we're gonna do is get you to have a look at this thing in action, cutting this one. So this one's been marked out exactly the same place. And then I'm just going to start routing it out, routing it, cutting it with a spiral cut.
So there you have another servo well cut out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This one's a, a much snugger fit. I'm not going to push this all in because it might be difficult to get out. Um, so it's snug that way and it's snug that way. Again, I can take a light sanding to that to ease it up. Um, but that's good there. Nice smooth finish on the bottom. That was the issue I always had. Trying to get a nice smooth bottom face to a well, um, or servo well. So in this case, because it's got the end mill on it, it's actually cutting a smooth face with the tip and not just the sides. Um, so you can get quite nice square edges all the way around and a nice flat bottom. Again, I don't know how many be able to see. I used to do a bit of free hand in the middle here because I missed a bit when I was uh, going around the whole lot. Um, but that's fine, that's not a problem. So these servo covers are actually going to be for these thin wing servos. Um, but these blocks get mounted in the corners and then that gets screwed to it with a servo arm sticking out the hole. Um, quite a simple setup. Um, these might even be these covers might even be made available as like a kit. Uh, not sure yet. I'm still experimenting with them. Um, they've got marks for where the support bracket goes for the servo. Uh, so the servo gets mounted onto a piece of birch ply that gets glued in there and then screwed to that. Um, so yeah. So that is the spiral cutting router bit thing um, from Dremel. I really do like them. Um, I don't think they're that expensive, the actual bits, um, although I can't remember how much it, how much they are. Um, I'm going to say about a tenner, but I'll check out and see how much they are at the time of filming. Um, they do do a good job. Um, if you are making servo wells, or any sort of accurate cutout that you need... Um, a nice accurate square edged cut for for example um the other thing i've used it for is spar slots um i've set up a guide a piece of wood to run the router along at the right measurements spacings etc set the depth um of the um bit and then just run along it um what i think about it that's one thing i didn't say what i've done here is i've actually set this to the right depth for the servo um the servo cover outer face and the servo comes to 12 mil. This I've set to 13 mil depth. Um, so I've got a little bit of play. Um, and that's more enough. There's more enough meat in the wing of this particular wing to do that. Other wings you might have to be careful about how you do it. Um, but yeah, it's a good piece of kit. Um, it enables accurate cuts quickly and efficiently. It does create a bit of mess and it is noisy with a Dremel. Um, but it's a good piece of, as I said, good piece of kit, and I use it all the time. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, PPE, you decide what you wear, I decide what I wear. Uh, I don't take any responsibility for anybody getting injured or whatever from using this sort of stuff. Um, so I don't need comments on that. Um, any other comments, positive or negative, about the actual job involved, put them below. Um, I always read them, always respond to them. Um, if you're liking this video, give us a thumbs up. Helps the logarithm or algorithm or whatever it is that YouTube uses to get my videos out there. Um, and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And if you hit the bell, as soon as I put a new video up, you'll get a notification about it. Normally on a Friday evening, I'll try and put videos up. Um, but uh, from me here in a very messy and busy workshop, uh, I'm going to crack on and I'll see you a bit later.